I have to say, I think this is a beautiful part of the world. Yeah, it's lovely. I really like it down here. So they're up early, driving 75 miles out of the city to a little town called Gibson. Much of Louisiana sits below sea level, so the countryside surrounding this little backwater is swamp, the perfect breeding ground for one of Louisiana's oldest inhabitants. We're going down a river full of alligators. The river's like infested. Why would you do that? I want to experience it. I don't it. want to do that. That's not what I want to do. What happens if we tip over? Then we're food if we tip over. Why would you say that? Why <laughs> would you say that? With a lightning-fast lunge, once these gators have a grip on their prey, there's no chance of escape. They're renowned for eating anything that moves. A swamp rat or a TV presenter, they're not fussy. You've seen them dart out and just grab people by the leg. Is this it? Hi. Barney. Nice Barney, I'm Charles. Welcome Hi, to South nice to you, Charles. Thank you are very we, much. Are we with you? Yes, yes. Hey, what's your name, sorry? My name's Charles. Hey, Charles. Brad. Nice Brad? to see you, mate. So are you in pretty good health, pretty good stamina, able to endure challenges? I don't understand. Why would I need to do that? He is, yeah. OK, I... well, good. Well, you're, you can get on the boat then. <laughs> OK. Come on in, please. Thanks, Charles. Well, let's get started. Shall I strap myself in? No, don't strap yourself in. You may need to escape later on. <laughs> this is great. Jesus! Don't do what is the matter with you? Why would you do that? You could get lost in here, Barnes, forever. You could. Charles, tell me, where are we going now? Well, I've enjoyed having you in my boat, but I'd like to take you to see some real alligators, and that would be Captain Billy. So how about if we go over to Captain Billy's boat right now? Sounds good to me. Let's go see some alligators, Dad. Billy Gaston, nice Barney, to meet you. Nice to meet you. No one knows the wetlands better than Captain Billy. Born and raised on the bayous of South Louisiana, he's shared this swamp with the gators for over 30 years. But when they hear my voice or see this boat, they come to the boat. So hey, they don't know your voice. Be black, over here. There he is. Where, where, where? Right there, Barnes. He's coming as well. I'm over here, you. This is I crazy. Feed him chicken. It's good for him. Over here. You see, he got in a fight. You can see the, the bite marks on his back. There. Oh, yeah. This is about a six and a half footer. No charge! Over here! Here he comes. What's, the, what's, what's, what's Frank's no rally? No way. No, he's not coming from. Did you just call he it? is. He's coming from all the way over there. Okay. Oh. Go on, knock charge up. You get cockled. It's very plain to see, though, Billy, that you do look at these like they're your family. I mean, you simply. You know, this don't happen overnight. It takes me years to get them to come to the boat. The way I, I train them is if I see one over there that I don't feed, that I don't know, what I do, I angle my boat to where while I'm feeding this one, that one over there will be watching me every day. Oh, right. And then eventually he'll see that I'm here to I feed him and not hurt him, so eventually they'll start coming closer and sure. closer. Oh. So it takes a little while. It might take a year or so. Right. Would hunters hunt? Nunchuck? Yes. Nunchucks, they would? Yeah, they hunt, so, they so hunt them right now. So all of a sudden, right you, one day you call him, he don't come, then someone's got him. Nothing I can do about it. These are their alligators. He looks like he's got Beautiful the right. gator, though, huh? Oh, yeah. sensational. How old does an alligator live for, usually? Uh, a little over 100. And how many gators yeah. in an area like this would you have? In the marsh, they could have up to anywhere from 800 to 1,000 per square mile. Right. I hope y'all get a chance to see T-Bar today. Who's T-Bar? Uh, he's my 13-foot, 800-pounder. Where does he live? He's in the back canal over there. Should we go over there? Yeah, sure. Come on, let's do the old back canal gag. They shot him last year. He got a bullet hole in his snout. No way. Yeah, they're they pretty tough. Got... Did you see that? What? Flying fish? The uh, Asian no. carp, they call it. A what? The Asian carp. But they good for the gators, though, because they can get... Yeah, the gators them. love them. Yeah. The American gator and their crocodile cousins have the strongest bite in the whole animal kingdom, producing the same crushing force of a pickup being dropped on you from the top of a cliff. Here comes T-Boy. T-Boy! Really? Over here! T-Boy! Oh, my God. Bet you none of the alligators mess with this one. Uh, no, he's the king of the swamp here, guys. He's got about five or six girlfriends in this one canal here, and he goes back and forth, keeping track of all his girlfriends. Most of the alligators in this area is offspring 
of this gator here. Really? See the bullet hole right here? There you go, look at that. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, see ya. Uh-oh. Oh! Come on, son. Come and have a go now. We're in a big boat. I'm going to go ahead and let you feed this one, but I'm going to have to hold on to the stick. Okay? Oh, no, I don't want to do it. Got Barnes, here you go. You're sure? up. Go on, yeah, 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 oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do it? Yeah, right. be careful, Barnes. I'm going to have to hold on to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay? no problem. I'll hold on. Yeah. Over here! Up! Wow! Good job. You felt the power in that, huh? Yeah. It was a pleasure bringing y'all guys Thanks, out here, mate. Thank show, you, showing Billy. you my backyard, and yeah, I hope to see y'all again.